What's the largest organ in your body? Is it A, your heart, B, your lungs, or C, your skin? The answer is C, your skin. And when you're cold, it gets covered in goosebumps. But why? Sounds like a case for investigation ouch. Behind this glass, it's colder than the freezer in your kitchen. It's actually colder than the North Pole. In fact, it's colder in here than the coldest place on Earth. That's Antarctica. This is called a cryogenic chamber, and I'm about to get inside. That actually sounds like a terrible idea. A cryogenic chamber is a freezing cold room used to treat common health conditions and help top athletes recover from injury, helping to repair their muscles. But today, I'm using it to find out how our bodies react in extreme cold. That room is minus 60 degrees, and the room behind me is minus 135 degrees. That's five times colder than the coldest day ever recorded in the UK. What's it going to feel like? Chilly. <laughs> This is Renate Zajay, and she'll be monitoring me to keep me safe when I'm in the cryogenic chamber. So clearly I'm going to need a very warm coat to go in there. No, just very, very small clothes, not very warm clothes. This is it? This is all I get? This is only that. Perfect. What do I mean, perfect? This doesn't look like nearly enough clothes. I might be cold, but at least I'm going to look stylish. Headband, vest, shorts, two pairs of socks, clogs, face mask, gloves. I told you I'd be looking good. So I've got James with me filming, but James can't come in with that camera, so I've got a special camera with me which I can take in there. So I'm not going alone, you're coming with me. Here we go. And it'll be so cold in there that I need the face mask to stop my snot and saliva from freezing. Whoa! Oh! Oh, OK. It's very, it is very cold, but it's quite manageable because it's very dry. It's also very, it's, it's almost sort of foggy in here. So the room I'm in at the moment is as cold as the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth. But this room is just preparing my body for the next room, which is twice as cold. Minus 135, here I come. Oh! OK. Um... It's so cold in here that I can only stay in for three minutes and Renato will be monitoring me the whole time to make sure I'm safe. It's very hard to describe quite how cold this is. The closer I get to the floor... Oh, 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 this is now very, very, very cold. It's very hard to think it's so cold, actually. The shock to my body is making it hard to control my breathing. I'm getting goosebumps all over my arm and you can see every single hair on my arm is standing straight up. And the reason that's happening is that my body is trying to trap a layer of air very close to my skin. And uh, I'm shaking a lot. Shivering like this is my body getting my muscles moving to generate heat and keep me warm. As my hand gets cold, you can see all the blood goes out of my skin. And now my fingertips are going absolutely white. Very, very cold indeed. That's because as my body gets colder, it's making a choice. It's taking the blood away from the parts of my body it can do without, like my fingers and toes, and putting it into the centre of my body to keep vital organs like my heart and brain alive. I'm now coming up to almost three minutes. I will be very pleased to come out. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's so much better. This is like walking into an oven. But when you're cold, you get goosebumps, and that's your skin trying to trap a layer of warm air around your body. So what you can see from that is how important your skin is in regulating your body temperature. And when you get extremely cold, your body starts making choices about what it wants to keep going. Very, very, very quickly, my body takes the warm blood from my skin, brings it into the middle of my body to keep my organs warm, my brain going, all of these things. When I come out into the warm, my body immediately releases that blood and you can see it all going to my skin. And there's a very good reason why our bodies react like this in the cold. If my core body temperature, that's the temperature in the middle of my body, had dropped by even four degrees, it could have been fatal. What's so interesting about being in a room that cold is that you can see all the incredible things your body does to keep you at exactly the right temperature. 